2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Northwest Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth. And it's hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Certainly looking forward to seeing how this rivalry plays out, Rich. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. And let's see what he can do here today. That a boy. Good shot. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. Not taking enough club to get it there. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. Time to see what this par four has in store. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this whole location. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This is looking pretty good in the air. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Super shot, that. Currently one under for the round. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Opting for the six iron. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Here's Lydia Ko. Oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Currently two under for the day. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. This shot is about 140 yards out. 
This green sits well above them. An extra club is required. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. A bit short with that effort. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Great touch. Really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Trailing by seven after that hole. This hole is a par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Setting up in the first cut here. Lovely effort, that. This putt to move into the top 20 on the leaderboard. Looking better. Yes, they've made it. And that will take him to three under. He's currently tied for 12. The sixth hole here at Chestnut Hollow Ridge is a big par five. 559 yards from those back tees. Luke, I got to say, though, the big hitters that are not afraid to challenge that stream going down the left-hand side, they could reduce this to almost nothing. This fairway is firm and fast, and that golf ball will chase out forever. You must avoid the bunkers down the right-hand side, though, if you've got any chance or any hope of going for this green in two. Coming up just a little bit shy of the green is actually a good leave. Leaves a simple pitch shot to a very long and slightly undulating green. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game. A bold play, hopefully a bold reward. That's great golf there. So close to the eagle. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. Ha <laughs> <laughs> that's a beauty. She'll be stoked. Well, that'll move her up the leaderboard as well. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Going with a three wood here. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. Well, that's beautifully judged. Gotta like their chances from there. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. 
Oh, stop it. What a way to make you par. Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? Let's return to live play now. A putt for a place in the top ten. On a nice line. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Currently five under for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. This putt for a spot in the top five. Oh, just missed. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. He's in a share of 10th position. This hole here is a par four. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's got momentum now, just birdied the last hole. Even for the day. Chosen the pitching wedge here. That's a pretty handy shot. Oh! And just a supremely accurate shot from way out. Right at it. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Four strokes off the lead. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. As we make the turn, it's always good to reflect on what we've seen out there so far, Rich. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. Sitting at six under, tied for fourth. Opting for the five wood. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. 
why don't we catch up with what Lydia Ko's up to? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, that celebration, that's a little spicy. I don't know if these two are going to be talking now. Didn't that look good for a long time? Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. A well holds. He'll take the birdie. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. Coming off a birdie at the last, looking to add another one. That's nicely done. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. He's looking for an early KO against Lydia after that. Wow, she's on the ropes and maybe down on the canvas if he continues. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, what a super shot. And that will take him to eight under. And he finds himself in a tie for third. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. And now stepping onto this par three hole. Oh, 
opting for the five iron. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She got one back on that last hole. Let's take a look at Lydia Ko, shall we? Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Ooh, that almost went down. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Great touch. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Always a challenging approach to an elevated green. Game of the seven. Wow, what a shot. A lot on the line here. This putt for a share of top spot. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. Currently nine under for the round. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Launched that one into space. Wow. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Terrific shot and a chance for birdie coming up here at the 14th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. New Zealand's Lydia Ko setting up her next shot. Uh, I like that. Always good when you've got hands like that around the green. Such soft hands. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Looking for another birdie here. So far, so good. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And a quick glimpse at the leaderboard now. And this player holds the lead, with Brooke Henderson trailing in second place. The 16th at Chestnut Hollow is a, a short four, Rich, measuring just over 320 yards. 
only the biggest hitters, unless it's a prevailing wind, will be able to go for this green and one. A lot of players, however, Luke, will still take out the driver and try and get it as down there and to the right as far as possible to set up a very easy, simple pitch shot. I'm looking at this as a guaranteed birdie if you want to win this tournament. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? This is looking around 115 yards out. This one might need to sit. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. Little birdie look in here. Looking really good, this one. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. went in that was special and they've been rolling the ball great today another great look now switching our focus to Lydia Ko she's currently trailing her rival let's see what happens here how close was that to going in the hole great shot and after that effort this is how the leaderboard looks our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Always difficult to get a gauge of the exact distance when playing uphill to the green. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. Didn't quite have the distance to get there, but left themselves in a good spot. A birdie putter waits. And that signs off on today's round. 